Guess I better take the stairs. Men at the desk gotta be able to help. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship-shape. I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. Gonna have to play my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze anything out of her. Hey, she thinks I'm a client. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should've known. What do you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? If we don't find the killer, there'll be other mothers who find their son's body on a deserted wasteland. But, but, but you're right. Why should you care? It's not your problem anymore, right? What do you want to know? Tell me about Johnny. What kind of kid was he? Johnny was really a good boy. Sometimes he fought with other kids who called me a, you know. In his own way, I think he understood what was going on. Did Johnny live with you? Yes. Of course, I made sure he never met any of my clients. I wanted to stop, you know. But we needed the money. I was trying to earn enough to get us out of here. You want one? No thanks, I quit. That's brave. Tell me about Johnny's father. A loser without a job who liked to beat me after a few drinks. He left the day Johnny disappeared. I ain't seen him since. Coward. Good thing he left. How did your son disappear? He used to go play with the neighborhood kids after school. It was pouring down something awful that day. I'll never forget it. All his friends came home around five. All except him.
time's up, Mr. Shelby. I hope you got what you wanted. Now get out of here. I gotta get out of here. I didn't learn squat. Well, it's worth a try. No point in pushing it. She's not gonna tell me anymore. I'll leave my card on the kitchen table. You never know. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. And it's not going to get any better this friggin' weather. That guy just forced his way into Lawrence's place. Sounds like the room's getting rearranged, and not in a good way. I gotta go back and help Lauren. That guy might kill her. What do you want, asshole? Lauren! Is everything alright? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! I'm not looking for trouble, but if I go through that door, I might find it. That jerk is throwing her around. I gotta do something. Tough guy, huh? Looks like he needs a little lesson from the school of hard knocks. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! Yeah, asshole. Are you all right? <sighs> Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks.
Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm r- Yes, Jill. A body was found here on this patch of wasteland early this morning. The police are still searching the scene and questioning anyone who might have seen something, but no information has spoken to yet concerning the identity of the victim. Of course, everyone's wondering if the body is that of Jeremy Bowles and has the Organic Killer struck again. In any case, our team is on the scene, and we will keep you informed of the live report as soon as we have any information. I'm Brittany Sanders for ICM. Now did that name somewhere? What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Reporters? Already? Huh. You seem well informed. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Unrelated to the investigation. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself, thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. The case seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. To come in a three-ring circus. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? 
Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest! Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Strange character, that Blake. Didn't seem too pleased to see me. The body must be under the tarp near the lights. The body is still here. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. The crime scene is compromised by all these people. I doubt there'll be many clues left. If there were any to start with. Pretty chilly, huh? When did they find the body? Excuse me, but... Who are you exactly? Nam and Jaden. FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. I can use a coffee. Might warm me up. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. The body is still here. Harry Cameron, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Airy comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Airy comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Harry, come in. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. Harry, come in. Pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim.
footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Very common. There are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Gary, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. You have seen all there is to see. I think I've seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. Heading back to the office. You stay in. No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too.